the only thing I want to do right now is hang out with you guys, talk about books, bookish stuff, and drink some yummy cinnamon tea. From the title and the start of this video, you guys can probably see where I was this week. I was in Brooklyn yesterday for like the very first time. I literally was like a fangirl in Brooklyn too. I was going over the Brooklyn Bridge in the Uber and I had my camera, my phone, I was taking pictures. I was so excited and just so happy to be there. But I was going to an event with Urban Decay and Groundswell and I was having so much fun. It was seriously such a great day. I have that vlog posted as well. But I wanted to like explore Brooklyn a little bit. I didn't just want to go back home because it was my first time there and the weather was beautiful. So I was looking up like flower shops near me and then I was like, wait, let me look up bookstores near me. And like the very first bookstore that popped up Oh wait, it's not on that side. <laughs> Dramatic for no reason. The Ripped Bodice. It was like the first bookstore that popped up on my list. The Ripped Bodice is like a romance only bookstore. Like it went super viral on social media. Like that's how I knew about it. I completely forgot that that store was in Brooklyn. I think I looked it up a few weeks ago too, but for some reason it just like completely slipped my mind. I feel like I've also been like really stressed lately. I've kind of just been feeling like overwhelmed. And one of my favorite things to do, one of my favorite forms of self care and therapy is going to a bookstore and just walking around. Certain bookstores just exude this really like calming energy and I feel like the reader community the book community everybody is just like so kind and gives off like the best vibes the best energy I literally walked up to the store and was just like amazed by how beautiful it looked like it was all pink out front like it was everything I wanted it to be and more and when I opened that door when I walked into the ripped bodice I was just overcome with such joy <laughs> I've been telling myself too that like I really don't need to spend more money on books because I feel like I need to prioritize like really reading my TBR and like cutting down on my physical TBR before I add to my collection. I just haven't been reading much recently and it's kind of like making me sad. Sometimes life just gets busy and I just haven't been setting enough time aside for reading. I'm gonna start scheduling in a little bit of time each day just so I can like get back into reading because I really do miss it so much. When I was walking around, there were so many books that were sticking out to me and like the store was organized like so well. Like it is like a romance only bookstore basically so there's romance books like everywhere. I really like didn't know what to get. Like I had my Goodreads list pulled up and everything, but because I'm kind of on a small book buying ban and because I'm also transitioning out of my love of contemporary romance into more of a romanticy era, I had no idea what to get. I wanted to get Divine Rivals, but unfortunately they were sold out. I also wanted to get the Inheritance games, but I don't think that they even had that there. Like I don't even think they carried it. I'm also not sure if that's like a romance. I think it's like a YA, but I don't really know much about it. I've just heard that it's good. As I was walking around, they had like Akatar themed candles. Candles. They had Crescent City candles. They had fourth wing candles. The very first thing I saw when I walked into the store was the bag. So like I knew I was getting the bag. I had this tea for the very first time like months ago, like probably before the holidays. I actually think I talked about it in a vlog, but it was like before Christmas. I think it was like during Vlogmas, but my mom and I both got this tea at Barnes and Noble together and it's so good. It's like literally hot cinnamon spice tea. You can get those containers like at Barnes and Noble, but I just ordered it on Amazon and it's so good. Like it's so comforting. They have a decaf version, but I think this one has like a little bit of caffeine. And yes, this is an Akatar mug with one of my favorite quotes of all time on it. My friend got this for me for Christmas. I knew I wanted to get this bag and I was like, well, I have to get some extra things so I could fill the bag. One of the main things I did want to get while I was there was this. I have literally always wanted to do the blind date with a book. I saw this one and it looked so good. He needs to convince his reclusive former co-star to join their show's rival. He didn't expect the sparks between them after a lifetime apart. I have no idea what this is. I like literally have no idea what this could be. I feel like once I open it, I'll be like, oh my gosh, yeah, I've seen that before, but I had no idea what it was. And I wanted to like, obviously be surprised. It's a blind date with a book. We're gonna open this together. And I literally just kept like walking in circles around this bookstore. Like I just wanted to be there. Again, the vibes were immaculate. Closure was playing, really good music was playing. I didn't want to leave, but I kept finding myself going back to the blind date with a book section. I almost didn't get this, but I really wanted it. And I'm going to tell you why I really wanted it. Because even though it's a blind date with a book, I think I know what this book is. And I've been wanting to get this book because I've been wanting to watch the movie. <laughs> He's my rival, he's the Prince of England. I'm honestly gonna be super surprised if it's not what I think it is. I'm like 93% sure I know. <laughs> That's why I got this. And again, I'm really getting into romanticy, so I wanted to ask one of the people that worked there if they had any recommendations for me. I basically told them that I'm obsessed with Akatar and Fourth Wing, so please just guide me in the right direction of something that would resemble that, that I might like. And they led me to this. They also led me to Bride by Ali Hazelwood, but I don't think I'd be into a paranormal romance. Never say never. 
never, but romanticy was more exciting for me. This is a crown of ivy and glass. I think this like just came out recently too. I just kind of skimmed the back when I was there. It was just kind of like a little lost puppy in that bookstore because I had no idea what to get. It looks really good. And again, if this was a recommendation for me based on the fact that I love Akatar and I love Fourth Wing, how could I not get this? So those are the three books that I got while I was there. They also gave me this really cute little bookmark. This was free when I was checking out. This is gonna sound so ridiculous, but I want to get another Kindle just because I want to have another Kindle with more stickers on it. I'm also reading The Wall of Winnipeg and me very, very, very slowly. If you guys know anything about Mariana Zapata, you know that she is incredibly slow burn, but Colty and From Lukov with Love were two of my favorite books of all time. But then again, at that time, I was really into contemporary romance and the sports romance. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna really get into this. And I also don't wanna DNF it because it's so early on. I have like 13 or 14 hours left in this book. So I feel like I just need to kind of stick it out. My romanticy heart is really missing romanticy. So I feel like I'm just gonna jump right back into like Akatar and I need to read Iron Flame and then maybe I'll go back to this for like a palette cleanser. Like I'm in the middle of like quite a few contemporary romances, but they're just not doing it for me right now, which is totally fine. Let's talk about stickers. I'm super into like manifesting. Like I fully believe in manifestation with like my whole heart and soul. So I saw this and I had to get it. It says everything that I desire desires me. And I was like, yes, you're coming home with me. And then I did find the Akatar sticker section. I nearly bought almost all of them and they were like four bucks a piece, which I really didn't think was bad at all. The first one we got is the Court of Dream City of Starlight. This is the Valaris one. Look how beautiful that is. And then I had to get the inner circle. Like how could I not come home with this? And it has everybody's name on it too. I loved this. I thought it was so cute. And then I got one more sticker. This one's probably my favorite. I actually want to go back and get like two more of these for my friends. I'm like so mad at myself that I didn't get them while I was there, but I have to go back. It's the Starfall sticker. I wish you guys could see it in person too because it's like sparkly and like glittery and you already know who those two are. I don't have to say anything, but look at them. I'm just gonna flood this whole Kindle with Akatar and Fourth Wing. <laughs> I'm glad that I had like, I'm excited too because there were like quite a few other things that I wanted there bookish merch wise. Like the Ripped Bodice had cute t-shirts. There was another tote bag that I was into, more stickers, all of that fun stuff, like really cute bookmarks. But I told myself now I have some things on my list that I would love to treat myself to next time I find myself in Brooklyn at the Ripped Bodice. I think they do have like an online store too. But now that we opened everything, it's time. I think we should start with this one because I feel like I know what it is. This one I have no idea. And let me know if you guys want me to do a video on like redesigning my Kindle stickers. I feel like that would be so much fun to film. Okay. Let's do this one first. It literally feels like Christmas. I have been wanting to do this for so long. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Oh my gosh. Wait. I did not know that there was a movie cover. It's red, white, and royal blue. I didn't even say that right. It's red, white, and royal blue. Ah! I know some people don't love like the movie or show adaptation covers. I personally love them. I guess it depends. I think it depends. Like I loved the Hating Game cover too because like I loved the Hating Game movie. But this is so freaking beautiful. I'm so excited. I wanted to watch this like very recently too. I wanted to read the book first. I absolutely love this cover. Like this is stunning. True love isn't always diplomatic. Look at their socks. Are you freaking kidding me right now? I told you guys I like went back and forth so much in the store. I was like, should I get this? Should I not get this? Should I get this? Should I not get this? My excitement and reaction just confirmed 1000 billion million percent that I should have gotten this book and I'm so happy. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. For the weirdos and the dreamers, are you kidding me? They didn't have like a ton to choose from, but this one definitely stood out to me too. I like how small it is and how short it is. I feel like having a shorter read like this too is really good for me right now since I'm like kind of struggling to like finish books because I just haven't been doing it a lot. I kind of wish I got more of these. Okay, I don't know what the back is. This is what we're working with. Let me know if you guys can guess this just by seeing the back. I'm gonna let you guys see it first, ready? One, two, three. And Birds of California. Wait, I don't know what it autographed by the author. Wait, are you kidding me right now? Are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me? That is so cool. They gave us a freaking autographed book in a blind date with a book. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, that is like the coolest thing ever. You know what? I wrote this one for me. I love this. I think I'm gonna love it. I have no idea what it's about. Let's read it. Ooh, Taylor Jenkins Reid said exquisite and delicious. Katie has outdone herself. Let's read this together. Former child actor Fiona St. James dropped out of the spotlight after a spectacularly public crash and burn. The tabloids called her self-destructive and said she'd lost her mind. Now in her late 20s, Fiona believes her humiliating past is firmly behind her. She's finally regained a modicum of privacy and she won't let anything or anyone mess it up. Unlike Fiona, Sam Fox, who played her older brother on the popular television show, Birds of California, love that name, loves the perks that come with being a successful Hollywood actor. Fame, women, parties, money. Hmm, the tea. When his current show gets canceled and his agent starts to avoid his calls, the desperate actor enthusiastically signs on for a Birds of California revival. But to make it happen, he needs Fiona St. James. Against her better judgment, Fiona agrees to have lunch with Sam. What happens next takes them both by surprise. Sam is enthralled by Fiona's take no prisoners attitude and Fiona discovers a lovable goofball behind Sam's close up ready face. Long drives to the beach, late nights at dive bars. Theirs is the kind of kitsy romance Hollywood Cells. But just like in the rom-coms Fiona despises, there's a twist that threatens her new love. Sam doesn't know the full story behind her breakdown. What happens when she reveals the truth? I'm so excited and I love that this is autographed. I feel so lucky to have gotten this. I'm thrilled. I couldn't be happier. Like I want to go back to the ripped bodice so bad. And if you guys have any like bookstore recommendations in Jersey or New York, I would love to go visit them. I want to do a video soon where all I do all day long is go to cute coffee shops and bookstores. So please let me know if you guys have any recommendations. I have never been able to find like a small town, cute, like locally owned small business bookstore back home in PA. Send all of your recommendations to me. I love, love, love the blind date with a book. I think that's such an amazing concept. I think it's such a great gift for yourself or to somebody that you love and care about. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. This was so much fun and it was exactly what I needed. Let me know if there's any videos you guys want to see, if there's any fun places we should go explore to Together. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. Spread kindness always, and I will see you guys very soon.